Hello, welcome back to another episode of Waterfront Wednesdays. Happy New Year. This is the very first episode of the Long Gone Loser Rock Show of 2024. And we're kicking off with one of the greatest punk bands of all time from Australia. We're talking about Final Assault by Rocks. Let's rock. Let's rock today. My history with Rocks goes back to, well, the No Cheese 10 inch record by the hard ons and the stupids because inside that record there is this like leaflet flyer thing for other releases on waterfront records so immediately i was like well i'm gonna need all these records and so i ended up buying the other records that are pictured there there's like um the spunk bubbles are there and uh the mothers are there and and rocks is there with final assault and immediately i was like yeah i gotta find these records now i found all the others but the Rocks record seemed to be impossible to find. I could not find it anywhere. And then as tape trading days went on and things like that, uh, I remember getting videos of them and there was a, like a live video that I got of them as well as a video of Pete and Bill from Rocks reviewing a Psychotic Turnbuckles record, which is absolutely hilarious to see. They're actually reviewing Final Assault. Now, if I had that cassette handy, that VHS tape, I would put that review in this review on the end so that you could see it because I feel that it's pretty damn funny and uh, I know that I told Bill that I had it and he was like wow I haven't seen that in forever and so I do want to get it digitized at some stage to send to him and then say hey here it is enjoy because it's really really funny but I don't know where my VHS tape is of that I know I haven't thrown it out because I don't throw out anything so it is somewhere in a box possibly still at my mum's house and so I will get that and digitize that. Shame I couldn't do it now because I really want that live rocks footage that I know is on that same cassette because it's awesome and it's rocks and they sound great. Awesome band. So anyway, let's go into a bit of history on rocks. So in the 70s, they released a seven inch called You're So Boring. Now this is not the original. This is a reissue that came out in 1996. This was released, there you go, Small Axe Records. The original was released on Point Blank Records and this is pretty cool this was actually gifted to me by bill from the band and for those people who love this nerdy stuff uh, this is actually a test pressing and uh, to me you know we're test pressing or not i'm still going to play the record either way just as much as i would if it was a standard pressing and yeah i will never ever be able to own an original pressing of this single because it sells for a thousand dollars and more and that is just stupid. You know, it just seems ridiculous that a punk single sells for that much money. There is nothing punk rock about punk singles being so expensive that only the rich can afford them. I say that time and time again because it's true and it just seems so dumb, you know, and whatever. But uh, I'm sure the people who do sell those records for that kind of money are probably, you know, rolling up their sleeves now and ready to hit the caps lock button to start going off at me. But just my opinion. Knock yourself out, do whatever you want, believe whatever you want, I don't care. But anyway, you're so boring. Four tracks, all awesome. There's the back cover. And this is what's cool. I also got gifted this as well. This is an unused, unfolded 7-inch cover from the original 7 inches. So there you go, you can see the label there. And yeah. Very, very cool to have this. Unused, unfolded. Nerdy shit is what I'm into. And uh, yeah, I just collect memorabilia of bands and stuff like that. The other 7-inch I have is this one here, which is a split with the loud mouse. Uh, it's got a skateboard. Very cool. I found this 7-inch in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at a place called Jerry's Records. I walked into that store and there was got to be half a million records in there. It was absolutely insane. I bought a lot of hair metal records for like a dollar that day. But this was in there for a dollar as well amongst the punk singles. And I was pretty stoked because I'd never seen it before. But I pulled it out and was like, what the fuck? Rocks is here? So I grabbed it. Of course I grabbed it. Why wouldn't I grab it? You know, Australian represent. <laughs> but yeah, very, very cool. I do have this 12-inch version reissue of You're So Boring put out by Dropkick Records. As you can see there, Dropkick Records. So this has, not only does it have the 7-inch tracks, but it also has like a bunch of other comp tracks and stuff like that, which is great because those comps are not easy to find as well. So now you can get them all on this one reissue, uh, which I don't know if it's expensive or not. It shouldn't be, but yeah, grab this if you can't find the 7-inch or anything like that. Just grab this. 
or if you don't want to pay a thousand dollars for a seven inch which i don't blame you because it's fucking stupid buy that record instead at 1982 garage sessions this is the latest thing that was released by them came out last year and it is pretty damn awesome it's like a tape that they had found like of a studio session that they had done and uh, there yeah, you can read all about that here i'm not gonna read all that for you now you can just pause that if you want but this was released on evil tone records mine is numbered 50 of 200 so you can still buy this i hope or i would think you can and so i highly recommend if you like rocks and you don't know that this exists maybe now you should jump on it and here is another one that was released out of the netherlands on a label called kangaroo records this is combat zone and i found this one at amoeba records and it was like eight dollars or something like that there's the back cover, all the song titles. So, But today, we are talking about Rock's Final Assault, released on Waterfront Records. This is Damp 77. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get into it. There's your back cover. Color photos, the whole deal. Looks awesome. You've got this awesome inner sleeve here. So you've got all those photos here. And then you've got the credits here. Now, recorded by John Hresk at... Sound Barrier Studios. Now, John, if I'm saying your name wrong, I do apologize, but your name will be coming up a lot in this series because you recorded a lot of Waterfront Records releases and you did such a great job. It sounds like you're right there with the band. Uh, it's awesome. And he did that with a lot of the bands that he recorded. It, it always felt like you were there in the studio with those bands watching them. I don't know how he got that sound, but it's a sound that I do miss. Uh, it's just, It's just such a good sound he just had a really really good ear for production and engineering and stuff like that so yeah i want to show you what this band sounds like so i'm going to play you the first song on the record burnout Burnout, what a great song. It opens up the EP, there's four tracks, and uh, all four tracks are killer. Final Assault came out in 1988, and today, when I still listen to this record, it still sounds just as fresh and exciting as it you know, did the very first time I ever heard it. And it is just such a good EP. Now, I know everybody gets excited over the You're So Boring 7-inch, and rightly so, it's fantastic. I think that this is a stronger release than You're So Boring, even though I love it all. I just love Rocks. I think they're a great band. And uh, this EP is just like, they're back in black. It's the top of the heap. And I highly recommend if you can get a copy of this. And it's not expensive. You can find it around. You know, especially on the secondary market sites like Discogs and stuff like that. You can get this. And it's not that expensive. Well, it shouldn't be that expensive. So, yeah. But this is just so good. And this is a mint copy. I've found this like on eBay or something like that, and it was like $30 postage paid, super cheap, and it's perfect. Now, it was $9.95 when it came out, so 30 bucks postage paid, I'm happy with that. It's only like doubled in price because uh, postage here for one record is about, I don't know, $11 or $12 or something. So, yeah, rocks, Final Assault. Now, it doesn't in there. I do have some more props. I've also got this Final Assault sticker, which is very, very cool. And... This is awesome, one for all the pick nerds. I have a Rocks guitar pick, nice thick guitar pick too. So I'll be adding this to my guitar pick collection because yeah, I'm a nerd like that and I have one. They were a gift from Bill as well. So very, very thankful, Bill. I really appreciate that. Hopefully we can get Rocks back to Melbourne this year to do a show with, uh, with the Thorazines because they do want to come back to Melbourne. They haven't been to Melbourne since the eighties and they're still going. Only thing that's changed is the drummer. They've got Bibbs on drums now. Now, you might know Bibbs from, I don't know, tons of bands. The guy's like a Sydney punk drummer icon. And so, yeah, he's now drumming in rocks. So that's pretty damn cool. So, 
yeah, hopefully they'll come down here soon and they'll play this EP in full <laughs> just because I love these songs so much. So we're going to leave this episode with the final song on this EP, which is also the title track of this EP. So we're going to listen to Final Assault as we leave this video. So I want to say thank you so much for watching another episode of Waterfront Wednesdays. I hope you've learned something about rocks if you didn't know who they were. And if you did know about them and you've forgotten, I hope it's a good revisit for you. Uh, maybe, uh, yeah, revisit the records and enjoy them just like I always do. And yeah, who knows what's coming up next week on Waterfront Wednesdays? Who knows? But I will see you here, same bat time, same bat channel, right here on the Long Gone Loser Rock Show. Look after yourselves, take care of each other, and go buy some records. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.